Hey, this is JC here, and today I'll be showing you how to separate your Discord audio from your OBS. Now, this technique isn't only limited to Discord, it can also be applied to other programs like TeamSpeak and Skype, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Discord. Now, before I start this video, some of you may be wondering why you should even separate your Discord tracks from your OBS tracks. Now, the reason you should separate your audio tracks is because it'll make it much easier on you to further edit your video later on, or even live stream to make it easier and sound better. So for example, let's say something important is happening in game, but your friend decides to yell very loudly so you, so you and your viewers cannot hear it. Regularly, without this method, you can't really edit out your friend, but while having this method turned on, you will be able to easily edit out your friend and boost the audio or do whatever you want. Basically, this is just going to make your life so much easier when working. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to VB Audio Software and you download Voice Meter Banana. You don't need to download any of those other programs, we're only going to use Banana. So we're going to go down here to Voice Meter Banana and you're going to download the EXE file over here. So before you install this program, I highly recommend you watch this video on a separate device because when you do, this program is going to require you, require you to restart and your audio may also not work. Which is why I recommend you watch this video in a separate device. Okay, so once Voice Meter Banana is installed, be sure not to open any programs like OBS or Discord because before we do that, we have to fix the audio routing settings. So over here in the search bar, we're going to type in control panel. Once control panel opens, we're going to click on hardware and sound. We're going to click on sound, and once we click on that icon, it should open up this little window over here. Alright, so once you have this window open, what we're going to work with first is this playback tab. And so in the playback tab, you're going to see your headphones or speakers or whatever you're using, and you're also going to see these two icons. You're going to see voice meter aux input and voice meter input. So first of all, click on voice meter input and set it as default. For me, it's not highlighted because it's already set as default. So if you want to make sure it really is enabled, click on something else, set as default, click on voice meter input again, and click on set as default. So what this will do is that whenever you restart your computer, all your audio is going to be redirected through voice meter input. All right, so once that is selected, we're going to go into recording. And in the recording tab, please be sure to select your microphone and set that as your default device. Alright, so once that's installed, you're going to go here to the bottom right and you're going to click on the little window icon here. Once you open that up, be sure to click on the up arrow here. So once that is selected, please be sure to click on the voice meter input, VB audio voice meter VAIO. So if that's not selected, you're, you're not going to hear yourself and the audio is not going to play through the correct track. Alright, so once that is selected, we can finally open up Voice Meter Banana. Alright, so once Voice Meter Banana is open, you're going to click over here, you're going to go over here to Menu, you're going to click on it, or you're going to click on System Tray Run as Startup. You're going to, you have to make sure that thing is turned on, because if it's not turned on, every time you restart your computer, you will not hear any audio. And one other thing I recommend you do is you turn on hook volume keys for level A1. So what this will allow you to do is change your key, your volume up and down just how you previously were able to. Alright, so once that is selected, just click somewhere else on Voice Meter Banana application and be sure to copy down all these settings over here in Hardware Input 1, 2, and 3. So basically, all of these things should be deselected because we are not going to use them. We are only going to be working with virtual inputs and the master selection. Alright, so once you have the settings selected, First thing you're going to do is going to click a hardware output, aka where all the sound is going to play through. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on A1, you're going to click on the device which you are currently using. Me, I'm currently using my AirPods, so I'm using KS, KS AirPods. But if you're using your speakers, you're going to click on speakers. Now I recommend using WDM, but if it's static or glitchy, move on to KS, and if that's static or glitchy, go on to MME. But be careful because there is some delay or latency between choosing these different options. Alright, so once you have your, your output selected, you're going to go to virtual inputs. So in virtual inputs, think of it like two separate icons. That's Think of a, simp a simple invisible line that just runs through this thing right here. So first you're going to do is you're going to click on A1 and, and A1 for both, both of these. What this is going to do is that it's going to redirect all the audio to output through your headphones. So since I selected A1 to be my headphones here, all of my audio for voice meter, so all the audio in voice meter VIO will also output through my headphones. And all the voice meter audio from AUX will output through A1. Now you could further research this up in their guide for voice meter banana. I am not going to go into that, I'm just going to demonstrate what I did to fix my audio and separate the tracks. Right, so once you have this, these things selected, what you're going to do, 
that you can either set B1 or B2 or B2 to B1. Now the order of these don't matter, but I highly recommend you copy the settings I have. So setting VIO to B1 and AUX to B2. Okay, now if I didn't mention this earlier, this is how you're going to change the volume of your output. You're going to do it through the master section, this first column here. So by, so by moving this up and down, that's how you're going to control your audio. And if you double click on it, you reset it to zero. But for me, I don't want to blast my ears so I'm going to lower it to negative something. Alright, so once everything in voice meter over here is set up, now we can officially open OBS and Discord. Alright, so once Discord is open, what we're going to do here is we're going to click on user settings. We're going to scroll on down to voice and video. So for input device, make sure your microphone is selected and for output device, Make sure aux input is selected. Don't don't do input. Make sure aux input is selected. So in OBS, what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna click on output. Now depending on whether you're streaming or recording, you you change the you enable or disable the tracks you're gonna use. Okay. So for example, uh, in recording, if I were to record, I would be using five audio tracks. So I would enable five audio tracks. Alright. So once you're done and enabling the tracks, go to audio. So in the audio tab, make sure on under devices that these things are enabled. So desktop audio is going to be voice meter input. Desktop audio 2 is going to be voice meter aux input. So in other words, this is your desktop or game audio. And voice meter aux is your Discord, Skype or whatever audio you decided to output to. And microphone is whatever microphone you, you decided to choose. And also be sure to disable those other things you're not using. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the control panel. I'm going to search in system mixer or sound mixer options. So once you open mixer, this icon should be opening. Now in this thing, what I recommend you do is you set discord to always output to aux as well. Because for some reason, whenever you destart voice meter banana resets. So by setting it through windows, it should prevent that from happening. So be sure to make Discord, both Discords, to be voice meter or aux input, alright? And everything else can stay default and do do whatever. Alright, so once you're done with that, we're gonna go back over here to OBS. And in OBS, you should have desktop audio and desktop audio too. Now, I renamed it to Discord, which you can do by right clicking. But this Discord here is basically desktop audio too. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assign each audio track to its own track. So the way we do this is that we're gonna click on the little screw-like thing here. We're gonna click on Advanced Audio Properties. Since this is my live streaming one, track one has everything enabled. But if I were to be recording, for example, only one should be set to per. So once you make sure that uh, every column only has one check mark, this audio should be separated. So the way I'm going to show you guys how it works is that I want to open YouTube and I'm going to play a song here. Now this song, pretend YouTube here is both the game, is either the game audio or the browser app. So in this example, if I play the audio or the YouTube video, in over here in OBS, it should only play in the desktop audio, this first track, okay? It should only play through here. It shouldn't play through Discord or desktop audio too. Okay, so in Discord, in order to make sure this thing actually works, I'm gonna click on the undefin and it should make a sound. And this sound should only play through desktop audio too, or in my case, Discord. And as you can see, it is properly working. To make sure it's not overlapping to desktop audio one, you could turn off the video and only mess around in Discord. And this should only play in desktop audio too. If that is not working, there are possibly two solutions you could do to probably solve it. One, make sure voice meter input is selected in the bottom right hand corner. Or two, restart your computer. And if that doesn't work, be sure to comment down below and hopefully the community here would help you solve your problem. So now whenever you record your live stream, you have free will of controlling your Discord and your game audio. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please share it and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.